sorry. We missed you guys last week. But we're here to do it. Double take. That's <laughs> right. We're going to do double shout outs since we missed you last week. That means my book is pretty full of stuff. That's right. So let's get started, shall we? We got a lot of people to welcome. So if I don't say your name and I missed you, let me know. I'll catch you next week. If I say it wrong, let me know. I'll fix it next week. So let's get started. Christy Snape, 1988. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she's got a channel, so go check her out. Makeup by Mexi. Welcome to the neighborhood. She also has a channel, so go check her out. Bet you can't to guess what that channel's about. Uh, makeup? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aussie Flicks, welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel. They are, they, or they used to be, Beach Loving Aussie. Now they're Aussie Flicks, so go check them out and subscribe. Show them some love. Jorokla66, sorry if I said it wrong, welcome to the neighborhood. Bebatch, welcome to the neighborhood, has a channel, go check it out. Megan Johnston, welcome to the neighborhood. Cool Mike Star, welcome to the neighborhood. Has a channel, go check them out. I love M S M N D O F. Welcome back to the neighborhood. Six seven two two five Mary, welcome to the neighborhood. Angela Jennison, welcome back girl, we missed you. She says she's always been around, she just has not been able to figure out how to leave comments. And now she finally figured it out, so yay, yay. yay. we expect to hear from you. Miss Paula, welcome to the neighborhood, and she has a channel, so go by and check her out. The Family of Sunshine, welcome back girl, we missed you, hope all is going well with you guys. She has a channel too. Yes. Trans Am Girly, welcome back, girl. How are things going? We haven't heard any updates from you about your father or your stepfather. I'm not sure which one. Um, let us know how things are going. Very interested. Daniel Kalik Badar, welcome back, guy. We missed you and glad to have you back. Justina P, welcome back. We missed you. We haven't heard from you in ages. Hannah Hinkle, welcome back. We missed you, and she wants to know why was she taking off the credit roll. We did a cleanup of the credit roll a while back, and if we haven't heard from people, we took them off the list. Now that you're commenting again, though, you'll go back on the list tonight. Hug Me Loads 13, welcome to the neighborhood. And Delta Knight, Welcome to the neighborhood, and Delta Knight has a channel, so go by and check it out. Ha, there we go. Okay, I'd like to thank a few people for sharing some of our content on other social medias. Alex Griffin, as always. Dave Nicholson, again, as always. Faith, Hope, and Love. Maddie Carosa. Timothy Birmingham or B Tim 1961 and Family Trees. Thank you guys all for sharing our media on Twitter. We greatly appreciate that. Okay. Goth Man the Soul Keeper has a birthday this month. Happy birthday. Christopher Trade Show. Thank you very much for the donation. We greatly appreciate that. Okay, we have a question that someone needs a little bit of advice on. So, he asked me if I would ask the community. Michael and Amanda DeSanta. He wants to go back to college. Questions. Two. Should he go online or should he go to college? The second one is, should he go for food critic or a chef? I would say for either one of those, I would say you should go to college. Yeah, uh, we're old people. This whole online thing is a little strange well, to us. Well, to be a, a chef, you would want to go there so you can actually cook and learn yeah, how to do that, it. That seems to make more sense to mm -hmm. me, but it, but going to school seems to be, it should be a hands-on thing. 
And I've always been a kind of person that is a sort of a visual learner, I, a hands-on. I want to I wanna get in there and do it. And I was a music major, so there's no way you could do that online. Yeah. And so, and I know that the, the online stuff, people people do that, and it's acceptable, and, and it seems to be as good. But it's a, it's, I don't have a, a lot of opinion about it, because I've never done it. But I think for a chef, I would, if I was to be a chef, I would want to actually be there. Right. And, and as do it. critic as well, because a critic has to actually taste, taste the, food the food and, and know what you're tasting and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Okay, updates on some of the people that have needed thoughts and prayers in the past. Um, Brandon Windsor's father had mouth cancer. Um, he is doing well. He has to go into a nursing home for chemo and radiation, but good news, he should make a full recovery. Awesome. Awesome news. Glad to hear that, Brandon, and congratulations to your father. Jerry Colburn, that poor girl, she's been in and out of the hospital forever. And she was sick, she went to the doctors, they gave her medicine, they gave her her shots, they sent her home, she went back to the doctors, she was still sick, they sent her home, said if you don't get better we're putting you in the hospital. Well she ended up in the hospital with a blood infection and pneumonia and wow. she, after six days of being in the hospital she is finally home. So glad you're home. Girl, I, I know you've got medical issues but stay healthy, stay healthy. Um, one Proud Mama. Let's give you guys an update on One Proud Mama. April and Haley are hanging in there. No surgery for April as of yet. Yay. Um, oh wait, no surgery for Haley as of yet. Um, she goes back in December and I go back next month to schedule, April goes back next month to schedule her surgery. They did find a place to live. Yay! However, they had to do a major downsize. They went from a four-bedroom house to a two-bedroom duplex. Mm -hmm. But it's a place to live, and that's what matters. We're thankful, that's for sure. It seems like she has no cabinet space. She's also losing her mind. Ha ha. Way less closet space, too. And we're hang They hang all of their clothes up all of their clothes up so they're not sure exactly what they're going to do but they're going to make it work and um, she's going to keep us updated on the surgeries as soon as they know they will let us know or me know and I will let all of you guys know so please keep them in their thoughts in your thoughts and prayers for their surgeries and that they can make a two bedroom duplex from a four bedroom house work the best way they possibly can. At least they have a roof over their head and they are safe and happy and together. So that's what's important. Okay. Uh, I'm sure everybody has heard about Gene Wilder. Oh, tremendous loss. He was a great, great comedian and actor. Um, so thoughts and prayers go out to Gene Wilder and, and his family for their loss. Um, Brendan Windsor, we got some good information or, on his dad, but he was in a car accident and he had broken some wi wings. He was in a car accident and he had broken, he has broken ribs and he has lost his job because of that. But he says that's okay, he didn't like that job anyway. So, all right, Tanya Longley, her father was in ICU last night, and they sent him home today, and she's not even sure what happened. <laughs> so, she's going to find right. out and let us know. Kyle Muhlenbein, he was the one who was in the hospital for knee surgery, ended up having to be put into a coma. He was in there for two and a half months. You remember all that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He finally gets released from the hospital. He goes out and he gets in a car accident. Yep, hits a pole, gets a concussion. He is at home, but Kyle, I think you need bubble wrap more than me. Uh-huh. Stay in bed, For sure. stay home, don't move. <laughs> don't make me come there. Okay, and as you, most of you know, if you have not or you do not know, 
Mom's Vlog 80. Please go over and check out their channel if you have not already done so. Our thoughts and prayers. This is very, very difficult for me, so I'm going to do this very, very fast. Go out to Elijah, Drac Shadow. If you not ha heard of him, please go over and check out um, Mom's Vlog 80. If you have Facebook, go on to Facebook, Elijah Kicking Nora Blastoma. He's a nine-year-old boy who is fighting um, neuroblastoma cancer. He's been fighting it for years, and he is losing the battle. And um, he's not going to make it out of the hospital this time. So thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Thoughts and prayers go out to um, the whole family. The whole family. My question last week, let's get right on to that, was what's your favorite cartoon character and why? And before I read these, what is your favorite cartoon character and why? Well, my favorite from growing up, I very much remember it because it was Saturday morning, no school. We got, went to watch um, uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby Not the new stuff, what? none of that strange stuff with Scrappy. Oh, oh, oh. The, the old stuff with Scooby Snacks and uh, haunted houses with bats coming out in the opening scene. That was that was the bomb. Scooby Doo was good. Scooby Doo was good. But do you know what was better? Nothing. Pardon me. Let's hear it. Snoopy. Snoopy's the best. Snoopy has. Christmas shows. Where's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown? Alright. Snoopy's the best. Alright. Snoopy's the best. Well, we had many answers and many great answers. I chose five that I'm going to read to you. Very Merry Vlogs. I liked her answer a lot. Powerpuff Girls. Why are bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls? Why? Because she could speak to squirrels. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, dear. I think that would be so cool to be able to speak to squirrels. What a useful talent. Hey, if I ever needed nuts, I could ask him where he's storing his nuts. Yes, dear. Okay, the other one is Brandon Windsor, and he chose Bobby from Bobby's World. Can't get enough of that show. My name is Bobby. But do you know what? Do you know what? What? I have never met Brandon Windsor in person, but I think he reminds me of Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> never met you in person, Brandon, and I hope you don't get insulted, but I think you remind me of Bobby. Tanya Longley. She picked Minions, but she wasn't sure if that would count because they're actually animated. So then she picked Bugs Bunny, but I say Minions count. It's a cartoon. Uh-huh. Animated or not, animated. it's cartoon. It's just computer animated. Yep. It's still animation. Yep. Yep, yep. Aussie Flicks. I liked this one. I had totally forgotten about this cartoon until they picked this one. Penelope Pit, Pit Stop. Kevin doesn't remember Penelope Pit Stop. Do any of you out there remember Penelope Pit Stop? She used to drive around in this little pink sports car. I remember Penelope Pit Stop. Yeah. I liked Penelope Pitstop. And Elizabeth Childs, she listed a whole bunch. Darwin Duck, Bugs Bunny, Rainbow Bright. But then she realized, I made her realize that she didn't have a favorite. <laughs> so that's all of that. My question for this week is, what are you most looking forward to about this fall? It's time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! I got it right this time. Na, 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 na. Okay, so two weeks ago, I asked about the movie, The Boy. And this is the horror film That's from we 2016 it. with Lauren Cohen. From there's, The Walking Dead. Yeah, there is another movie called The Boy, so don't get them confused. I always ask questions about horror films because I have a one trap mind. All right, so the question was, what was the other titles it was used? Uh, there was two other titles that were being used before it came out as The Boy. And the answer is The Inhabitant, 
and In a Dark Place. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Gibis 9282, and Gothman the Soul Keeper. Woohoo! Tonight's question is about Donnie Darko because we watched that just I love day. that movie. And um, it's a 2001 cult classic now. If you're going to watch it, make sure you watch the director's cut. Um, it it's a, it's explains a lot more. However, none of it really makes any sense. That's what we love about it. But the question is... After you watch it 50 million times and, and you discuss it, it starts to make sense. Yes, dear. Or you can make it make sense. Who is the man in the red running suit? Is the question. He shows up a couple of times and he doesn't seem to make any sense. Who is he? There you have it, guys. Your trivia question, your question of the week, all your shout-outs. Welcome to everybody, even if you didn't comment and you just subscribed. Welcome. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff, including our Monday night trivia for prizes. Make sure you go by and play so you get a chance to win some prizes. And we will see you next week on another episode of Shout Out! Wrong. Oh.